everybody, it's Saturday morning, which means it's time for us to take a look at the hottest and coldest teams in the NHL, like we do every week. Before we begin, I just ask that you please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't, it helps the channel an absolute ton and is greatly appreciated. But in this video, we will be looking at the five hottest and five coldest teams in the NHL right now. And I like to start with the positive, so we will look at hot first. And uh, as you can see, there are some teams playing very, very good hockey right now. Starting with the Minnesota Wild coming in at number five. They are 7-2-1 and one in their last 10 games. They're on a three-game win streak, including two wins over the division-leading Vegas Golden Knights. And Minnesota has been one of the most pleasant surprises in the league this year. Um, playing very, very well out in the West. Kirill Kaprizov is having an incredible season. He had a hat trick last night against the Arizona Coyotes. And Minnesota is just absolutely rolling right now. Don't forget about Capo Kakin and Annette either, who has been a tremendous rookie goaltender taking over the, uh, the job in goal for them. So everything is just rolling for the Minnesota Wild right now. At number four, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins, 7-3-0 in their last 10 games, a four-game win streak, and they are climbing the standings in the East. Pittsburgh's been playing really, really well, led by Evgeny Malkin, who's, I believe, on an 11-game point streak now, um, and they're getting much better defense, much better goaltending than they were earlier in the year. They're winning a lot of games. The offense has always been there. Pittsburgh is looking like a dangerous team yet again. Next up, number three, the Washington Capitals, who are one spot ahead of the Pittsburgh Penguins in the East. They are 8-1-1 one one in their last 10 games. They're on a three-game win streak themselves. And Washington has been absolutely phenomenal over the past couple of weeks here. Um... Just re really playing good hockey, really getting the job done and, and doing what it takes for to win, what they need to do to win. And, uh, you know, the only reason Pittsburgh hasn't climbed higher in the standings is because Washington and another team we'll talk about in a couple of minutes here is also playing really, really well. Number two, the Carolina Hurricanes. They are 7-3-0 and in their past 10 games and on on a league-leading active win streak of seven games. It's tied for the league lead, as we'll talk about in a second. Um, but Carolina is just absolutely rolling right now. Rod Brendamore has got them playing great hockey. They're, uh, they're, they're getting the job done. They're beating the teams that they need to beat. They're playing well against teams that are you know, on their level and also really good teams in the Central. And Carolina is right there fighting for not only the lead in the Central Division, but the league lead in the entire NHL as far as points go as well. So Hurricanes are having a great, great year. That brings us now to number one, and it is the league or the division leader in the East, the New York Islanders, who are 9-0-1 in their last 10 games. They are tied with Carolina for the longest active win streak at seven games. And the Islanders are absolutely rolling right now, playing New York Islanders hockey. And uh, they, they have been phenomenal over the past few weeks. This is a team that has risen from down in fifth in the division all the way up to first. And that big fat zero in the regulation loss column is extremely impressive and uh, very much the reason why they are number one on this list. To win nine out of ten games is an incredibly good job. And when you think about it from a points perspective, out of their last 20 possible points, they have gotten 19 of them. That is a really good way to get into first place. And that's what the Islanders have done uh, over the past couple of weeks. So, um, Incredible, incredible stretch here for them, and uh, we'll see if they can keep it going. They have a game today against the New Jersey Devils. So those are the hottest teams in the league, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Washington, Carolina, and the New York Islanders. Now, unfortunately, we have to switch over to the other side of things, which is not quite as good. The coldest teams in the NHL, these teams are really, really struggling. 
And coming in at number five on the list again is the Dallas Stars, who are just 3-6-1 and one in their last 10 games. They lost their last game to Chicago. And uh, Dallas continues to struggle and stay down near the bottom of the Central Division, while teams like Tampa, Carolina, Florida, and Chicago continue to stretch out their lead uh, and secure themselves as the top four in the division. Dallas is going to have to start putting a win streak together here if they're going to climb back into contention, but right now it's not going all that well for the Stars. Number four, the Anaheim Ducks, just two, five, and three in their last 10. They've lost their last two games in regulation, and uh, John Gibson is really, really struggling in goal right now. So um, it's been a pretty tough year for the Ducks. They're, you know, they weren't expected to be good. They're not good. But uh, a real, they hung around for the first month or so of the season, but since then it's been all downhill. And Anaheim is really, you know, pushing themselves closer and closer to the bottom of the league as the weeks go on. At number three, we have the Columbus Blue Jackets. And boy, am I ready to give up on this team. I don't know what happened to the Jackets this year, but they are 2-6-2 two, two in their last 10 games. They are very quickly falling out of, you know, any sort of playoff contention. They lost their last game in overtime to the Florida Panthers after having a 4-1 lead in the game. The Columbus Blue Jackets of last year would never blow a 4-1 lead. This Jackets team did and ended up losing in overtime 5-4. And uh, it's just been an abysmal year for Columbus. Two wins in their last 10 games. Um, really struggling in the Central and uh, quickly falling uh, out of playoff contention, and their playoff hopes are getting dashed here as the weeks go on. Number two, the New Jersey Devils, who are just 2-7-1 and one in their last 10. They lost their last game in regulation, and um, what started the year is kind of a Cinderella story and a, a, a team that looks like they might be able to, to surprise some people and and make a surprising push for and be a lot better than they were expected to be. Over the last few weeks, has really turned into uh, a pipe dream, and they've gone back to looking like the team that we thought they were going to be. Um, they've dropped all the way down to seventh in the division, and uh, the Devils have really struggled here as of late. So it looks like uh, they're not quite ready yet to be a team that moves, you know, into playoff contention. They're very, very young. They're still rebuilding, and it looks like they're at least another year or two away. And that brings us now to number one, and you probably knew who number one was before this video even started. It's the Buffalo Sabres. To me, the clear-cut worst team in the league. One seven and 2 in their last 10 games. They lost their last game in regulation which reset their streak to L1 because the game before they lost in overtime. But in reality, they are winless in their last nine. Uh, they have not won a game in their last uh, nine games. They're, they've only won one out of their last ten. And it's just been another abysmal season for the Buffalo Sabres. Taylor Hall sucks. Uh, Jack Eichel is injured. He wasn't really playing that well to begin with. Uh, they have virtually no defense whatsoever. Their goaltending is a disaster. And I'm just going to leave it at that. It's another brutal year for the Buffalo Sabres. And uh, I don't know what it's going to take to finally fix this team. But what they're doing right now is not going to get it done. So they are the coldest team right now in the NHL. So there you have it, uh, everybody. Hottest and coldest teams in the NHL right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, um, and uh, f follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store donation link and channel membership link are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you guys soon.